Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be ranking the settlements and territories of New World. We have Brightwood, Cutlass Keys, Ebon Scale, Eden Grove, Everfall, First Light, Great Cleave, Monarchs Bluffs, Morningdale, Reekwater, Restless Shore, Shadow Mountain, Weaver's Fin, and Windsward. I do not believe I forgot enemy. They should be all of them. And we're going to rank them. Best the worst. We have S, A, B, C, and D tier. Uh, so a bit of a background. S is going to be the very best. Only one or two settlements will actually make this. This is top of the line quality. Uh, a is above. Like it's a good. It's great. It's a good. It's quality. We love it. Just there's one there's one small thing or one major thing that kind of holds it back from a top spot. B is just your straight average. It is not awful. It is not good or not great. It's just nice and good, right? C tier is kind of like the subpar one. It's just kind of like eh, territories or, you know, nothing special. They're just kind of, eh, you know, they're not, they're not that good, right? They're just kind of, eh. And D tier is the shit tier, right? This is the bad one. We don't like D tier. D tier is awful. And what we're going to be ranking this off of is the uh, aesthetic slash ambiance of the settlement as a whole, the actual town slash hamlet of the territory, the mobs in the territory and just an overall thought and feeling of it and other X factors, right? So yeah, this is what we're going to be ranking. Uh, we're going to start off just with a staple B tier uh, settlement here. One, I think just like a good one, the lay the foundations of what it means is just kind of be a B tier settlement. Um, and that is going to be first light. First Light, in my opinion, is a nice B tier summit. You guys know I love First Light, but there's some there's some issues with First Light. But First Light is a nice, staple, good settlement. There's nothing, there's things that hold it back from being a top tier settlement, but it's not bad by any means. It's just a nice, staple, good settlement. It's a nice starting zone. The actual city of itself almost bumps it up to A tier because of the pirate ship and all the vibe there and the whole pirate aesthetic of the settlement is really solid but the mobs because it's a starting zone is a bit underwhelming it can be a bit of a pain to travel because if you want to go on the far west side you have to go north and like midway north to like travel out so it's a bit of a pain because there's like three elevation levels to it and so this is kind of that. And there's also, because of the way it wraps around, there's just this big portion of water here that just doesn't serve much purpose. Maybe when the game has boats or something. But at the moment, First Light, we're going to start there. Nice B tier. It's a good settlement. I love First Light, but there are things that hold it back from above that. So the real question, uh, so next we're going to do a D tier. So we set kind of the mid ground, like what's a good settlement? Next, what is a bad settlement? I'll give you a D tier. The one, the only, Cutlass Keys is D tier settlement. Cutlass Keys is awful. It is bad. It is an unseasoned territory. There's no flavor, there is no spice, there's not even salt to it, all right? It's just bland. The settlement itself is like, a shadow of like a first light or like a restless shore uh the actual like ways around it's such a pain to travel because there's just like one long loop that you have to do it takes forever for <laughs> for <laughs> i'm sorry sarah just text me saying no spice um takes forever the travel and and everything else so cutlass skis d tier uh, hate we don't we don't we don't like cutlass keys after running PvP quests there no one likes cutlass keys uh, so yeah not a big fan of that it's kind of trash and it's gonna be our D tier we'll just move down this list here next Brightwood this might be a controversial one this might be a controversial one Brightwood A tier Brightwood's A tier absolutely. A tier 
The vibe and aesthetic is mwah, lovely. You got that kind of spooky Halloween theme to it. It's kind of like rough area. The lore is there, it's good. The mobs are like the first time you have a bit more mob diversity in the game once you get to that area with like the more ghosts and gruels. The guys who carry the coffins and everything. The big ravagers, like it is awesome. The cell itself is good. The cell itself is good. I like the vibe. I like the kind of crazy gothic church there and the look to it. I wish there was a bit more going on with the city. It's a bit like outside like the main road that goes along the church. It's a bit bland. So we're going to say like that brings it down a bit from the S tier. But the actual cell and the mobs and everything is really solid. So we're going to give Brightwood A tier spot because we like the spooky vibes. Next up. We're going to talk about everyone's favorite territory, except mine, Windsward, which will be our first C tier. Windsward is not that good of a summit. It's pretty bland. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of meh. This, the actual hamlet of Windsward is kind of boring. It's just, it's trying to be an almost old knight or whatever. But like, it's just, eh, eh, it's just kind of boring. The actual landscape is just like some farms, kind of trees, kind of grassland, not much to look at. This is not like, uh, it's not like, it's like, this is like Windsward is supposed to be just the bland settlement. Like it's what you compare everything else. It's what like, you're like, yeah, this is better than Windsward. You know what I mean? Like it's what everything is compared to be better than. It has to be bad. The city itself is kind of boring. So it's just, it's just, eh. I will like it's just eh, it's just like a mid C tier, all right. It's not that good. Um, so yeah, this is kind of eh. It's it's eh. Move on. We're gonna do our first S tier uh, territory. First S tier. We're gonna fill up this whole thing. Our first S tier, maybe the only S tier. You guys want to watch to find out. Eden Grove, S tier. This is a hill. I will die fighting. Eden Grove S tier zone. It is a beautiful. I personally like the outpost system of the territories. And so while the outposts themselves are anything special, I don't think that takes away just from how good the rest of the territory is with Eden. Easily the best mobs in my opinion, the fight, easily the prettiest area, great quests. Uh, yeah, Cali non-ownable settlements here. Eden Grove, S tier place, the best looking settlement, the best ambiance, the best everything. S tier, S tier. So that we have set the set in stone, S through D, uh, what it looks like. We have Edmundskill, Everfall, Great Cleave, Monarchs, Morningdale, Reekwater, Restless Shore, Shattered Mountain, Weaver's Fin left. These settlements left. Um, let's go ahead and put in another, hmm, we'll put another B tier settlement. Everfall. Everfall is like the good looking sibling between Everfall and Windsward. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's, that, that's the best way I can think to describe it. It is Windsward, but better is what Everfall is to me. It's the same vibe, a lot of country land, a lot of the ancient ruins and everything, but you add on the fall vibe and the fall like look to the town and like the actual giving the, the, the woodlands and everything an actual good look to it. And then the settlement of Everfall is just like Windsward, but slightly better because they have party lights up and a little feast. But it's almost, it almost is the exact same look of Windsward. So I think it's just Windsward, but like one step above. That's all I really have to say about Everfall. There's nothing, it's it's almost the exact same as Windsor to me, just slightly better. So we're going to put it at B tier. Um, but we do love the fall aesthetic, so I think it's a nice, good territory. They're just the mobs to me kind of hold it back. And like, while it has like that fun fall aesthetic, there's just like not enough of that incorporated into a territory that's literally named for being forever fall. Like, there's just not enough of that for it for me so i think it's just a b tier just a good territory nothing special uh or it, like a little bit good like if anything we'll say it's top of b tier i think it's top of b tier maybe with how this shakes up it might be bottom a tier it might be bottom a tier but for now we're gonna keep it top of b tier i am open to moving it to be bottom a tier though 
Um, another C tier settlement. Shattered Mountain. Shattered Mountain to me is just kind of it's meant to be this way, but it's just like this dreary headache of a place. The mobs are a pain. The look to it, like I get this supposed to be like this intimidating, almost like like um, like Mordor style, like territory that's just this raw evil owns the land. It's supposed to be this rough place to be. But that doesn't have to mean I like that and I don't, so um the, the, the outposts there are just kind of the bland outposts of every other non ownable settlement. And the mobs are a pain in the ass. The look of it is dreary and grueling. The only reason it's not D tier for me personally is because I get that that's intended. So I have to respect it a little bit and put it in C tier. Because it's supposed to be hated. That being said, it's still like not the most liked. So I'm going to keep it C tier. Now, this is one I've been bouncing back and forth on. And I can't decide where I want to put it. We're going to put it here for now and see how the list shakes up. But Ebon Scale Reach, for the time being, I can't decide if Ebon Scale is S or A. So we're going to put, we're going to put Ebon Scale top of A for the time being. I can't decide if it's S or A. I just, I just don't know. I don't know. I've been going back and forth on it. I love it. The actual town is gorgeous. And, and the and the mobs are cool, like the look of it, it's just the, like, I don't know, it's either top of A or bottom S. I don't know if it beats Eden Grove, but it, it might end up on S. I think it'll most likely end up on S, but I want to see how the other settlements shake out before I decide, but it's, I go back and forth. The only thing I don't like about Ebon Scale is that, like, the, the actual environment can get a little underwhelming just kind of like you know what i mean like it's this it's nothing spectacular compared to some of these other areas but the actual like the actual town is my favorite town and the mobs are pretty badass so i it's no, we're gonna put the bottom mess here we're gonna put the bottom mess here i think so yeah no we're, we're gonna keep that here for now um call me a weeb or not we're gonna we're gonna put it here we're gonna go back and forth i i don't know we will, we will decide. We'll keep it A for now. We'll keep it S for now. We'll keep it A for now. We'll, we'll figure it out once everything shakes out. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Next up. Everyone's favorite higher tier settlement. Great Cleave. Where to put Great Cleave? This one might be a bit controversial. Great Cleave, B tier. B tier. Great Cleave is a B tier settlement for me. I like Great Cleave. I personally like Great Cleave a lot. I like the mountains. I like the mobs. I think they're a pain in the ass, but I like the mobs. I like the vibe of Great Cleave of being like this last defense territory against the corrupted, and it feels like there is an active war going on. I'm a fan of that. But because of the out, like because of the rest of that doesn't carry the lack of an actual territory, like an actual city beyond that, and it can get a bit copy paste feeling a little bit just with how it's laid out and just how the navigate it can be a bit of a pain. Like I can't bring it up above B tier, but I will say like Great Cleave, like I feel like it's a B tier. I feel like it's pretty good. I would even say. No, I think Everfall is better, so we'll say mid B tier, mid B tier. Next thing, Morningdale, C tier. Morningdale, C tier. Morningdale is kind of boring. It's bottom C tier, at worst top of D, at best bottom C. Morningdale is just kind of eh. It's like the actual town itself is a literal copy paste of Windsward and they just rotated it a bit. The, like the bottom half is just this weird plains area where there's like good hemp and a really good YouTube video by a streamer, a YouTuber named Redloff, yeah, about hemp location. But, and like the top, like it has rain, which is cool. Like we don't really have rain anywhere else. That's kind of cool. And it's supposed to be really influenced by like ancients and everything. And like I could definitely get that. Like that's not a bad thing. But like it feels like Morningdale is supposed to be like. Morningdale is supposed to be like this cool, like ancients burial ground. Like this is where the ancients were and where they were buried. And it's supposed to be this really cool. Like this is like the ancient location. Like if you have like Eden Grove is like the angry earth. Morningdale is supposed to be like the ancients. And it's just, it doesn't do that. It doesn't like if they actually incorporate more ancient stuff in there, like it'd be cool. 
but like it just doesn't so Morningdale is C tier Weaver's Finn everyone's favorite Weaver's Finn you already know if you have ever watched my stream or ever played this game with me you know where Weaver's Finn is going it's above Cutlass Keys because I despise Cutlass Keys above anything else, but I will also fight for it tonight and make sure we own it. But Weaver's Finn, D tier. Garbage location, all right? If you are not going along this northern pass here, it's awful. Navigate through the water, in and out, the mobs here, the alligators. It, it, it's, it's trash. It's trash. We're not going to hurt ourselves talking about it. It's actual trash. Next up, Restless Shore. Restless Shore is the top of it's going to be top of B tier or bottom of A tier. Here's why. So, Restless Shore, I fuck with the monsters of Restless Shore. The pirates and everything, I love that vibe. I enjoy it. Like, really, really cool. Big fan of, of, the, of the mobs of Restless Shore. And the actual city of Restless Shore is on par, in my opinion, with Ebon Scale. It's just like the giant ship in the middle that wraps around this cool, strong pirate vibe. Like, they took the perfect pirate town vibe for Restless Shore. So I just, I, but the actual territory of like the beaches and everything, it's like my same issue I have with like first light is that like, it's just a little lackluster. It's kind of a pain to navigate. Like once you get to the Northern area, like this big lump right here in the middle is a pain and like to move around. You have to go around to get to the North. You kind of have to island hop a bit, which can be a pain with like the water. So like, but the rest of it carries it. So we're going to put it top of B tier. It may go bottom A tier, but we're going to put it top of B tier for now. Don't worry about it. Uh, next on A tier. Second to last we're doing. Reekwater, A tier. Reekwater is Weaver's Fin, but good. It just is. It is literally Weaver's Fin, but actually making it enjoyable. That's what Reekwater is. This, the, look at the cities. Weaver's Fin, you zoom in on the map of the city, and it's just a giant yellow blob because you can't actually navigate it. They took that same premise of like the... Of like the the boardwalk and everything and they took the reef water and they actually made it navigatable they made it cool with like levels and tree houses and these large vines that were seeping in this giant like crazy marsh the elite zone of reef water is badass and cool to navigate through the actual swamp of reef water is cool to go through like it's actually like cool looking and not just dreary and awful reef water is weaver's fin but like actually well done I love it. I think the city is one of my favorites. It's up there. The mobs are a bit of a pain, so they kind of brings it down to not being S tier, but Reekwater is a strong A tier spot. And last, the last element of the list, Monarch's Bluffs. For those who don't know my history with Monarch's Bluffs, I, well, let's just say I have one. I'm a devoted Monarch's Bluffs lover. I, it was my first territory ever back in the first beta I played in. I thought it was everyone's first territory. I roamed those mountains and mines for many of hours. And it was the first territory that I made a lore video on. It has a special place in my heart because it was my first territory. Now I know some of you, I can already, I can already feel it manifesting. I, I know some of you do not like this territory. I know, I know there is, there's, there's some controversy with this territory, some dislike of this territory. And I, I, I hear you, I hear you, but think of Dead Man's. All right, think of, think of the mines. Think of the cool fort location out on its own island out there. Think of the city, the actual city is like the same vibe as like a Windsward and Everfall, but better. It's, it's actually a good place to be. It's actually a good place to be. And I don't know if this is my own personal heart, and this is going to be a controversial one.
It is the bottom of A tier for me. It is the bottom of A tier for me. I'm sorry. It is too personal in my heart. I cannot let it go. The best I could do is top of B tier. Or the worst I could do for it is top of B tier. But I gotta give it bottom of A tier. I think I just got logged off for an activity. That's okay though. And yes. This is my list. I think I'm happy with this. S tier, Eden Grove, Ebon Scale Reach. A tier, Brightwood, Reekwater, Monarchs Bluffs. B tier, Restless Shore, Everfall, Great Cleave, First Light. C tier, Windsward, Shattered Mountain, Morningdale. And last, D tier, Weaver's Fan, and the Dread Awful Cutlass Keys. Um, so yeah, this is my list. If you guys want to check it out, be sure. If you want to make your own list, if you want to make your own list here, um, first I'll put it in the chat for those watching the stream. I'll also post it in my Discord. So if you're in the stream, check out Exclamation Mark Discord. If you're watching on YouTube, check the comments below. Um, and yeah, you can find the link there and make your own list and share it with me. I think this is a solid list. I'm happy with this list, but I'm happy to hear what you guys think. So send me your list and let me check it out. But yeah, peace out.